Obviously, spoilers for Chapter 1 of Children X. I don't read manga. Genuinely, I don't read manga at all. It's genuinely because I don't normally have the time to read manga. I, I would normally want to invest myself within the story and the characters and kind of dedicate a good amount of time to read a manga, but with everything that was going on for the past couple of years, I, I just haven't been able to. But today's different. Um, since I saw this trending on Twitter, since I know of the artist and some of his work, and since the schedule probably isn't going to be weekly, I decided to read the first chapter of Chojin X. <laughs> Chojin X is a new manga written and illustrated by Sui Ishida. I'm so sorry if I said your name wrong, genuinely I'm sorry. Who's most known for his work in Tokyo Ghoul. When it comes to Tokyo Ghoul, I've heard from multiple sources that the manga is better. The manga is better. The manga is way better. But my time never allowed me to get into it. I got to where the first season ended in the manga and I, I basically couldn't read anymore. I had to stop. But um, I'm going to give this a shot. I really am. Um, Tokyo Ghoul's manga from what I've read, it was pretty decent. It was pretty good. The art style of the covers were fucking fantastic. I genuinely don't know what to expect from this besides the one Twitter post that I think it was Shonen Jump that put up saying like, um, sometimes you gotta fight the monsters and other times you gotta become them. You could have been talking about Tokyo Ghoul, you could have been talking about Attack on Titan, but nope, you're talking about Trojan X. Good job. <laughs> So the story starts us off by looking at snakes on a plane, I mean by introducing us to characters on a plane. And some of these characters are this little girl whom I thought was the main character as a child at first, but no, this is a completely different person. The main character is a guy and this is a little girl who wants to go to a produce competition because her father or uncle or something is injured. And this old lady was having a conversation with her. I gave both of them southern accents because everything they said sounded southern. They, they wrote it like they had southern slang and slaws and everything. And it was very interesting. It was very interesting. I thought Amash was here. Amash got an idea. But things took a turn for the worse when some guy was trying to get everybody out of his way because he was in a hurry to do something for some reason. And then he ends up burning the entire plane to the ground to the point where it crashes, but somehow 200 people survive. The main character's name is Tokyo. He's in school right now, and he's one of those cool kids. Fuck school. I don't care about school. They've never done anything for me. So after class is over, he ends up seeing some woman getting um, har harassed outside. And what does this brave, cool kid do? He calls his friend to help him and beat them up. At this point in the story, a lot of people have said that um, this story felt more lighthearted than Tokyo Ghoul did, which I think I can see at this point. There's definitely more attempts at jokes in here than there were within Tokyo Ghoul. And another point is that um, the fight scenes feel better, at least from what I've read so far in Tokyo Ghoul, which is up to the point where season one ended. I'm gonna say that again. The fight, the fighting panels and scenes and stuff just looks better in this manga. So, I guess that's cool. I think that's pretty cool because that's one thing you're at least doing better than your previous work. Good job. The friend's name is Azuma. He's a very eccentric, very outgoing very powerful and very brave character. Everything Tokyo wishes he was, but he is not. And after the ending of this chapter, I can definitely see this getting turned on his head during some ways, or even later on down the line, and maybe this can be like the the thing that starts to wedge between their friendship. I could definitely see that happening. It's, it's a generic story beat, but it works in shows like this. Tokyo goes home and we are introduced to his sister and I'm assuming his father? 
Him and his sister have an interesting relationship, but very... You know, a very generic relationship you would expect between a brother and a sister. She says he's worthless. He back talks. She says, hey. You know who pays for your tuition around here, right? Right. Afterwards, it hard cuts to the next day. Now, um, Asuma and Tokyo are looking at this plane crash that happened and checking everything out. Next thing you know, boom. They're attacked by the person that... Ozuma beat up the previous day. It turns out that this guy was injected with a needle and became a Chojin. I almost said Dojin. He became a Chojin. A flexi Chojin. This is definitely seeming like a, 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 a needle heroin version of One Piece because of the devil fruit and all the different abilities that they get you. <laughs> Azuma and Tokyo get their asses like whooped, fucking molly whopped, genuinely. To the point where they're like, dog, we gotta take these suggestions too. We, we gotta become Trojans now. That's just the point of life where we're at at this point. It has escalated to the point where we had to take this shot together. And that's what they do. Tokyo becomes this, this beast Trojan. I think they said Besto or Beasto or something like that. This beast Trojan. And it looks like Ozuma is just passed out for the whole time. So I don't know if he survived. I hope he did. Uh, maybe he's going to be a late bloomer. I'm not really sure. But let's go ahead and go to the overall section. Overall, as a chapter one, I think this does a decent job in establishing the story and premise of the show. Trojans are seen as bad people. Terrorists, if you may. Some even call them monsters. Hell, <laughs> the Shonen Jump tweet said enough. Sometimes you fight the monsters, other times you become them. We did indeed just get that story from Sui Ishida in Tokyo Ghoul. I get it. I totally get it. Stick to what your stories are good at. Stick to what works. But geez, change it up at least slightly. Like The dude's Trojan beast form thing even looks like Kaneki's centipede form. I haven't gotten into these characters yet. I enjoyed Ozuma's character. Tokyo's was okay. I just feel like things during this chapter one just kind of happened. Not necessarily because the characters were driven by anything, but because the author just needed a story to progress. But this is only chapter one and maybe it'll get better in the next few ones. Who knows? Who truly knows? But um, yeah, that's basically it. What did you guys think of Children X? Chapter 1. I thought it was a perfectly fine chapter 1. If I saw a first episode of this in anime format, would I watch the next episode? Probably not unless I had nothing to do. But since this isn't going to be released weekly from what everybody's saying, I don't have a problem with continuing reading this. I really don't. So if you guys want me to, I definitely will. And if you guys would want me to catch up on the Tokyo Ghoul manga up to the point where it finishes, I'd like to do that as well because I do want to compare the anime to the manga and kind of do videos, a bunch of videos on there, kind of like, what's the dude name? Low Art? Kind of like he did with the Full Metal Alchemist stuff. I think that'd be super interesting. But with that being said, I'll see you guys around next time. <laughs> Goodbye!